kind of results. Um, the clients that I've worked with over the last year have had a 151% increase in sales. All of them have hit their targets. 25% was the smallest growth rate, 300% was the largest. 53% is the average decrease in stress. Maybe decrease stress for you. No, let's talk about decreasing stress for the whole company. You know, like, like we're talking about culture change. What happens while we're doing this? We're making our goals, we're taking our actions, we're setting up systems to try and help us hit our goals. What's going on in the world? What's going on in our lives? <laughs> you right? Oh, yeah. Stuff, life, all right? I was three, four o'clock, both kids are now awake. Not great, right? Boom, that's traffic. Health issue, you know, cold or worse. A reasonable right? depiction of life, this set of stuff and this way of working is where most performance consultants and most people go to try and work within this set, for, particularly in the performance realm. Okay, let's, let's perfect this. Let's create a better system here. Let's improve your system. Or let's make bigger goals. Let's make smaller goals and chunk them out. Let's make the goals happen on Wednesdays. Essentially, this whole system here is great for one, one key thing. It's great for measurement. It's how we get paid. Great, this is what you're worth to the company. Funny thing is, it's great for measurement, but it's not great for improving performance. People think that because this is where things are measured, it's where we're gonna improve performance, but it's not. The reason is, inside of this square, all there are, are gaps. Hit your goal, great, here's a bigger goal. You miss your goal, what are you gonna do? You talk to great athletes, um, people that have won Olympic medals, and you ask them, how do you do that? How, I mean, what, what, is it, what, is, what is it that had you able to do this? Talk to Michael Jordan about what it's like to be on the basketball court. They don't talk about this stuff. They don't talk about square up your shoulders and arc your shot, they don't. They say, I go out there and I play, right? Get in the zone. And we all had times in the zone, but it seems like it's this special sort of combination of things. It's the right suit, it was rainy, it was cloudy, it was sunny, I ate this or I ate that. It's like why even athletes, they, they'll wear the same socks for several games, right? Even athletes, like, oh, it's gotta be the socks, right? So, because we don't know, like, what is it that's, what is it that's doing the win? I don't know, it must be the socks. What we're gonna do by the end of the time here is actually give you an idea or a clearer picture of where it is that those results, like out of the, like out, out of the, off the charts kind of results come from, and it's not from inside of here. And it's not the same for everybody. It's different for everybody, and you guys are each gonna get clarity for you on where the results come from that aren't inside of here. What we're gonna do is take a look at everything that's on your plate now and many years into the future how you're approaching it, and I'm gonna assert that by the end of 90 minutes, you're gonna have a different approach to powering up that system. Power is what I'll assert is something that we might relate to us getting done what we wanna get done, accomplishing what we wanna accomplish. We're gonna to get to what's powering this system for you, because it's different for everybody. People will read a book by Jack Welsh and they'll try and do Jack Welsh, but they're not Jack Welsh. We'll assert that each of us has something to bring to the party that gets us in the zone, but we don't necessarily know what it is and we won't learn it by doing somebody else's version of it. So each of us has our thing that will support, sustain, and light up this system. There's an essence of you at your core that basically will light up a thousand suns, but we're too busy paying attention to the gaps in here to pay attention to this. If you leave here and you start to work from what you'll uncover is your essence, all this stuff shifts. This rain doesn't matter so much anymore. You're either being one or the other. Essence or survival. And by default, you will be the rain. You'll be acid rain. A lot of things pull for it. So by default, this is where we end up. We end up being in stub toe. You were born with it, you'll die with it, the question is how much are you going to use this between now and then to deal with this stuff?
How did you get clear on your essence and to start going toward that? That's a great question. Thanks. What do I do with it? That's a great question. <laughs> we're actually going to do it now. Uh, you're going to do exactly what I just did with Sam with 10 people. You're going to say five to eight things. You do that 10 times, you're going to find trends. 10 people reporting very similar things is hard for you to not believe, given that they're strangers. You were born with this. You learn this. So if you can kind of plug into this and let it be simple, and then just both your questions, I, you, I, I don't know. I don't know what your path is going to be to do it. It's what I do with my clients. I support them in their path in doing this, and, and but it's different for everybody. It's simple, but the how becomes a, an, an exploration. If you have a team that you'd like to have in, introduced to this conversation, or you'd like to have a team play the game of getting clear on what the team's survival mechanism in essence is, or what the individuals are, we can talk about that as well. You know, and ultimately my relationship to this and the facets of this, like that's my that's you know, that's really the game. The first game is, you know, more time here, less time here. But then when I'm spending more time here, then it's like my relationship to this then expands. And this becomes complex. It's five words. How complex can that be? Very. Because then there's structures, there's support systems, there's, you know all sorts of stuff that then plugs into this and there's a whole world that goes with giving that the structure of needs. Because for a scattered guy who's disconnected and pissed off and scared and an egomaniac, there's a lot of ways that I can really dis derail that, right?